Hi, and welcome to A1R Psychic Radio. I'm Suzanne Marie, and welcome to my show, the little time I have each week to speak and um, hopefully do some really good readings. Tonight, I would like to discuss uh, love, and love as a state of being, and love as a, a spiritual experience, because I honor and I respect all religions, but um, for me, my, my personal beliefs is that the higher power or the creator or the the God as we see him is love, period. And he is in a constant state of love. And so I'm going to share something with you that I have learned. And it's Corinthians 1.13. And then I'll discuss what I've come to believe about it. So here it is. Corinthians 1.13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Now, this is kind of the important part. Love is kind. Love is patient. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, they will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. So. Um, when people are dealing with other people in society and in their community and they are working in a place of love, organic love, organic love, then sometimes we get confused and sometimes we get hurt by people who are not coming from that place. So the reason is, the reason is, is that the person may be not coming with you in love. So they're going to be confusing, they're going to be frustrating, and they're going to be negative. So we have a Kai from Chicago. Hello? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Oh, good. How are you tonight? Um, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Good. Um, what can I help you with? Um, I noticed that you guys were offering a free reading on a Facebook page. So I was just wondering, just inquiring more about that. And I was kind of interested in getting and receiving one if that was possible. Um, can you repeat that for me slowly? Okay. Ah, um, you want a free reading? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, yes, um, so is there anything in particular that you would like a reading with? Uh, love, health? Um, um, I guess mainly about my 
future, like career path and like life path. And just like okay. everything in general. Yeah. Okay. Can you hang out a minute? Yeah. Okay. Um, Spirit says that, that you have a lot of light in your energy. Um, I'm going to try to focus on you and see what I can pick up. And already they're telling me that you are you're a very positive person and a blessing to your community and your family and your friends. Well, so, I appreciate that. Um, Are you looking into a career of service? Something like that. I'm currently a music major. So I'm like trying to pursue something within music. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with my major. Okay. Um, you bring a lot of delight and joy to the people around you with your music, I, I'm getting. Um, you feed off of that energy too, don't you? When when you yeah. when you're getting in, when you're getting that replay from people, that's that's yeah. the light, that's the positivity. Um, are you in the in school for arts? Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm in a liberal arts school. But I'm a music okay. major there. I see things uh, working out. I see you traveling, though. Really? I see you traveling. Yeah. I see you traveling. Um, let's see. I think you want to pursue another another town. I'm picturing like yeah. New York. Um, yes, I've I've always wanted to go to like another big city. So it seems like it seems like uh, the minute you graduate, you got you got your backpacks and bags packed, and you're ready to travel. And I don't, I I see you being successful in New York, but I also see you traveling. Yeah. Like you're going to be requested um, to go to different different cities and possibly different countries, but that's oh further out. That's not that's not like right around the corner. Other countries are are in your journey, though. You'll journey to okay. other countries. Okay. Um, Spirit says uh, you're a joy, and that. There's, the guides want me to tell you to keep the joy with it. Keep that joy that you have. It, it won't okay. fail you. Uh, yeah, follow your heart. I do see you becoming successful. Um, do not let anything else bother you while you are studying and learning. Um, I see some things may may take your your attention away. Yeah, Just always be kind of happy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then there's this there's, there's this person with fuzzy curly hair, and um, that's a distraction. Okay. Uh. So because because you have a gift and. Spirit wants you to share it and wants to share in your joy. That'll get you far. Okay. Are there any other questions? Um, what about love life? I'm in a really good relationship at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, he's a very, very strong support, isn't he? Yeah, um, he is. 
I, I see it happy. I also see at a certain point, um, you know how, how people get engaged and get married? I see with you two a, uh, an elopement. I I see that you two just run off and do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's not planned. It's not you know him getting on his knee like that, and the whole family's involved. No, I see him grab your head and you smile at him. You get in the car and you get going, and you just elope one day. Like let's do this thing. Oh my God. No, because that's what I've been like thinking like lately because we've been together for almost about a year and like I've never met anyone like him that's like made me like so happy and like genuinely cares for me and like I kind of thought about like marriage and like we're thinking of moving in together after I graduate from college and everything you know we're planning on like getting an apartment together but marriage I mean, I thought about it, but I just got to see everything goes. But, like, he's really, I love him a lot. He's everything I see I him act for. He seems to be very lighthearted and very good for you. But um, yeah. marriage isn't going to be a heavy thing. It's going to be a very light thing. It's going to be okay. just like, just like the, the natural step. So, so, um, yeah. Thank Is there you. anything else? Um, I guess like a reading about like family life, like how many kids will I have in a few, if, if I'll have kids and I guess like how my family, my intermediate family here is doing and like how are they going to do and if they're going to be successful as well. I do see that, and I also see you're having children later. Your um, your music comes first, okay. and that's your choice. That's your choice. Yeah. So, well, you have a good night. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We have Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Are you? Can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Good. What can I help you with? Um, I was actually hoping that I would have maybe a message from spirit or a spirit. Okay. Let's see. Spirit is saying that you're not taking care of yourself, that there's a there's a point of anxiety. Yes, yeah, probably true. And they're saying that you need to learn how to breathe and let it go. Okay. Easier said than done, I understand. But Spirit is uh, very worried that you're not smelling the, the roses. There's a saying that I'll yeah. share with you. The um, worry is the is the misuse of the imagination, mm -hmm. and you you're worrying and you're stressed. You need to yeah. you need to to find techniques in order to release that for yourself. Okay. That's very lovingly from spirit. I don't sound very loving, but that's a very loving message from spirit. Okay. okay. Um, and Spirit says, whatever you're doing, keep up the good work with, with learning yourself and following your path. Because whatever you're doing okay. right now is, is effective. Okay. So Spirit's, Spirit is very proud of you. Well, good. Um, Let's see. 
One thing in particular is is kind of um, annoying or upsetting for you. And Spirit said that that's not going to be a problem for long. But there's something I annoying think. or upsetting? Yes, something in particular. They said, okay. don't worry so much, it will be taken care of. Okay. Um, yeah, they showed me you're, you're very frustrated. Something's very frustrating, but it's going to be okay. Um, okay. Are you having problems with sleeping or, or headaches? Uh, with what or headaches? Sleeping. Yeah. Are you sleeping? I wake up a day? lot. No, I, I I have a hard time sleeping at night, and I wake up a lot in the middle of the night. Um, that's part of the stress and being upset. And maybe, maybe... Uh, you need to tell yourself that that everything is going to be okay. Spirit has told you everything is going to be okay. And okay. Breathe, breathe long, slow breaths before you go to sleep. But um, that's due to stress. That's due to the anxiety. And that's what's, um, that's what's concerning spirit. Even meditation okay. music before you go to sleep. You need your sleep. Okay. Yes. Okay. I agree. All right. All right. Um, um, is there any messages about my career at all? Yes. Spirit said to keep on going the way that you are going. That whatever you're doing, it's the right thing. Okay. All right. Well, that's good um, to hear. Let me see some more about that. Yeah, it seems to me that you have a good handle on your career. Um, are you a leader? A reader? A leader. You like I, you lead. <laughs> like people I'm sorry, listen I didn't to you. Hear you. Oh yes, yes. It seems that you're a very good leader, and even though even though um this may might not be a permanent lifelong um employment, you should be in management, you should be in leadership okay those those are your gifts where um you say something and people listen is that does that happen in private too like in private life? Yeah. Yeah, you, well, you just put that there, and people do. Um, that's a gift. It's a gift to be a leader. Okay. And spirit says you're doing. Spirit says you're doing really well. Okay. Um. Yeah. And uh, it's just a matter of of anxiety and and worry, and really. Um, Really, you have to you have to find that time to meditate and find some quiet time to uh, to to feel joy. I bet as a, in the leadership role, that doesn't give you much time to to relax and lay back and think things things are okay. So, right. if you could find some time to meditate and to know things are okay, have that faith. You are okay. doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. So have the faith and and know that it's working out. Okay. 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 Well. All right. Thank I want, you. I want to thank you for calling. Well, thanks for thanks for the reading. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. So, um, that was that was a really nice show, and I want you guys to consider the love as a state of being. And I appreciate the callers. Thank you. 
Thank you for giving me the opportunity to read for you. And I hope that everyone has a blessed next next couple weeks. All right. Enjoy your summer. <laughs>